Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna do some freezer meal prep. I don't do a lot of freezer meals often, but today I'm just gonna do individual components that will help me later on with quick, easy meals. We're gonna just freeze a bunch of stuff that I have on hand, like fruits, vegetables. We're gonna make a few things because I don't want anything to get spoiled and it's like on its way out. You'll see what I mean here in a little bit, but first, as always, as I please ask you, give this video a huge thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, do so right now. These are all really budget-friendly ideas that you can do. I'm gonna share some tips and tricks to save you some money in your own budget if you already don't use these tips and tricks because this is ways that you can save money and we all like saving money. If you don't like saving money, then, well, I, I don't know what to say because <laughs> I like to save money so I can spend my money on things that I really, really want to spend my money on like vacations. So I save money on groceries to spend money later. Makes sense in my life. It's like girl math. Anyways, let's jump in to the first little recipe. There's not a lot of recipes today. There's a lot of prep going on, but this first recipe I had seen on Instagram a little while ago, and it's what inspired this entire video. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that even though I don't have all the components for the recipe, I can still make something that'll be really delicious when I pop it out of the freezer when it's ready to go. All right, the first thing we gotta do is get some onions and tomatoes up on the stove top. I'm gonna put my onions in this and just water saute them, and then I'll put some tomatoes in this. So let's get started. Something I started doing a couple years ago is I get onions in bulk and then I chop them or put them in my food processor and put them in the freezer. This is just like a regular bag. Sometimes I'll even freeze them differently. I'll link a video uh, down below you can check out with how I do like veggie prep for like the freezer. But I like having these on hand because then they're already pre-chopped. And bonus, they don't make my eyes water. So I'm here for that. To the onions, I'm going to add this garlic that I have in the fridge. It's basically, you know, gone, but we're gonna add that. Okay, to this pan that's already heating up, I'm gonna add a bunch of these little petite tomatoes. To be honest, they are going so much quicker, like getting moldy so much quicker than normal, which upsets me, but it's fine. We're just gonna put a whole bunch. I have a couple containers. Look at that, there's like already mold on them, which is kind of what inspired me to look for recipes to use these because we're not gonna eat them up as fast as I had hoped. And the reason is, is I don't think I like these as a snack as much as I did when I was pregnant and before pregnancy. Tomatoes were my absolute favorite food in the entire world, and I don't know, I'm just not feeling these. So, so they don't go to waste, we're going to create something. I have a whole nother package that isn't even open. Again, I got these for snacking and for salads, but we're just not going through them as fast as they want us to, I guess. I'm not gonna add all of these, probably like another half package. We'll keep some out, like this many, for snacking and for salads. These I actually prefer over like the heirlooms ones, so these I'll eat. To my tomatoes, they're starting to pop. I'm gonna add some water. Let those come to a boil. We're gonna add some tomato paste. Um, I'm gonna say like four tablespoons or so. You can just kind of eyeball this, it doesn't really matter. The recipe said four to five. We're gonna do four. Just kind of do some dabs in there. My onions are finished. They look just kind of like this, translucent. Most of the water is gone. Add them to my Vitamix. The tomatoes are also done. It just said until they started to burst. Not all of them had to burst, but some of them. So I'm gonna say they're done. I'll type the recipe, leave it below what I did compared to the Instagram recipe because mine is very different. Less seasonings, less types of tomatoes, but it's still all gonna work out. If you have fresh basil, it'd be even better. It smells magical. So, oregano, basil, Oh, 
voila, just like that, I have some amazing pasta sauce. Now, you do have to let these completely cool before you pop them in your freezer, so just keep that in mind. You just wanna make sure they're completely cooled, but if you could smell this, it smells so good. It's like tomato soup, but it's obviously not. You can make this thicker if you wanted to, add a little less water. I think the consistency is perfect. Like I said, I'll type out a recipe, leave it down below, but here is item number one, ready for a freezer. I would say this is like a single serving right here, and this is enough serving for me and my husband. So that's kind of why I froze them this way, in case you're wondering. Just easier to thaw one item versus unthawing every single time, you know? You wanna think of how you prepare your meals to freeze them or the components that you're gonna use per meal so you're not you know, doing a huge batch and then wasting it. All right, the next thing is I have this huge bowl of bananas and avocados. We're not using these up as fast as I wanted to this week. We're like halfway through the week and we're just not there yet. So that's kind of what started this <laughs> whole thing to me is like, I need to get these in the freezer because we can still utilize them and then they won't go bad. And tell me how these avocados were rock hard two days ago and now they're like beyond, like if I do not do this right now, I'll have to throw them away in 10 minutes. It's probably because I have them next to the bananas. I did not do the water soak method as I previously stated a couple days ago, but that's okay. I'm gonna use both my mini food processor that's cordless and my large food processor for this and I'll just get set up and then I'll share with you what I'm doing. I got this as a gift and I have never used it. It's an avocado knife. I will link it down below. Also, I'll link the silicone molds. If I can find the mini food processor, I'll link that too. Anything I use in my kitchen, I'll link. But this is supposed to be really helpful. We'll see. I'm gonna cut these open, put them in the mini food processor and get them situated in the silicone molds. The reason I'm using the silicone molds is because I can freeze an individual portion and then just pop it out once it's frozen and put it in a reusable Ziploc bag. I have done this method so many times with guacamole. It's fabulous because you can just have one serving and take that one serving once it's individually frozen out of the Ziploc bag. I'm gonna do the same for the bananas. So you'll see that here too. I'm not gonna re-explain it, but this will go in the freezer on a cookie sheet or you can just put it in like this, but I put it in a cookie sheet so it doesn't get all wonked up with my other freezer items. Put it in there, freeze it for a couple hours. Usually I do it overnight just so I don't like I don't have to remember it, I just get it the next day, put a little alert in my phone, pop them out, put them in a reusable freezer bag, which you'll see here at, when I do it, it'll be tomorrow, but you'll see it in real time, and voila, it's awesome. Take it or leave it for what it is. I actually looked on Google when editing this video and saw that the three main fruits and vegetables that are wasted all the time because they go rotten the fastest is avocado, bananas, tomatoes, and then fourth was watermelon. I don't know. I feel like watermelon's so hit or miss. <laughs> I think because if you slice it, it starts to release its liquid so it doesn't taste as good. Maybe that's why it's listed. But we can all agree that avocados go from like the perfect avocado to like you blink and they're terrible. So this little hack saves me every single time. I also really, really enjoy the silicone hack because I can put anything in it. I can put soup in it. I can put smoothies in it. I can put anything I want. Mashed potatoes to make mashed potato fries, which I haven't made in a really long time, but I definitely need to make grits. If you haven't seen my grit fries recipe video, you can put the grits in there. Um, but the bananas and the avocados, a couple of things. You just have to thaw them um, really quickly on the countertop when you're ready to use them. But I actually like to put both of these into smoothies. This is how I'll make baby food later on in the future. So you may see videos like that you know, way, way, way down the road. We'll see. The banana chunks you can also use for, like I said, you can use them for smoothies, but you can also use them for banana bread if you thaw them out. Because if you look, about three quarters of a banana is what I'm putting per silicone mold. I just kind of keep a, a thought on that. You can mark your reusable bag if you want to. You can, you know, mark everything in the freezer when you make it. I personally don't do that because we go through it so quickly. Like this will probably last us the end of the week, but at least I'm not throwing them away by the back end of the week because they're sitting on my countertop and not being used. I try to keep an eye on things before they go bad. I don't always share that in my videos, but that's why I thought today I should do it because I saw the bruschetta pasta recipe video and I was like, oh my gosh, I can totally make that. So here we are the next day. It was like 
I don't know, 16, 18 hours later, completely frozen, pop out so easy. The silicone modes are so easy to wash. I just throw them in my dishwasher. You can give them a quick, quick rinse if you don't have a dishwasher. But like I said, you just pop these into some Ziplocs or reusable bags or whatever it is that you use. You can even put them in like a Tupperware container, but they are perfection. And now we have all of our bananas ready to go for our smoothies. I can thaw some avocado, put it with my breakfast, or throw it in my smoothies as well. You can also do these little cups with guacamole. Anytime I buy guacamole at the store and we don't use the entire pack right away, I pop it in the silicone molds and put it in the freezer because once I open the pack of guacamole from the store, it starts to go bad. I know there's a lot of hacks out there for like lemon and salt and all those things, but this is personally my hack to save money because once I buy fruits and vegetables and they start to deteriorate and go bad on my countertop, I don't want to waste my money. I want to actually utilize them. And so these are the hacks that I use. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to link another couple of freezer recipe videos and fun tips to save money if you're interested. Check them out down below. This is just a quick, easy video. I was in my kitchen, it was during nap time. I wanted to share this with you. So thanks for joining me today on my little adventure and I'll see you soon, probably within a few days, in a new video. Bye.